can't get anything going. Finally, the Trinity Rocket comes through. 50 points from the Bombardment with only 20 seconds remaining on this hill. Streaks will come through and you can see they're coming down now. Mini Cal with his streaks as well. Another Trinity Rocket came through from Jexo. Not enough time. Baby, we're going oh to game five. Oh my God. 100 point club. 250 to 85. Your final score in Wall bang too strong. Meanwhile, Skittles and company. Skittles looks like just loves putting shots into the back of Gags every single time. This player is just trading back and forth. But Skittles is able to thread the needle quite consistently. Does it there once again, taking out Tissot. The push still coming in. This back stairs. Skittles just locking it down. It's like, hey, all right, I see a two burst. You're dead. Skittles really being able to turn around his game now 20 and 20 for his squad with two captures and three defense. Really good job of juggling that hard point for streaks. Meanwhile, Tampa, seven captures, four defense with 23 kills and 15 deaths. He's really putting up some numbers here and continues to do so as now it is going to be We Are So Bad that continues to pull away with a nice lead and the rotation has been missed by a little bit, but the Stealth Chopper is going to be able to clean up a lot of kills now. That's just huge amount of aerial ordnance coming out from this team. Joe is still trying to maintain some position in the middle of the map, but they can't. Skittles still has not died. I can't force that enough. This is a 12th streak combined 16 for this team, and now they have control of the hill once again. And not only do they have control, they're pushing out as well. Skittles able to spot one, cleans that one out, had a player pushing in from his right, but the teammate support, the teamwork, the positioning for this team is so good. You look past the name, and this is just exactly what I wanted to see because we saw such a great matchup in Series oh 1, God. and it looks like we're seeing it again 14 in a row before he's finally shut down. Scarab to the party. This is a big Bray defense. Two versus possible four here because obviously Bray White's teammates spawned out as the push came through. Mini Cal finds one, Jordy finds the other one. The last player comes through to Cassess, and he's going to be only one more player left. And what a defensive play from Bray Wyatt. They're at one point, then Paradox, there was only two of them versus four players from OBN Youth, and yet they still hold on. And now the lead increases even more. This one looks like it could go game five, and baby, I'll be so excited if it does. And Cal spots one all the way across the bridge, picks it up, oh. fills oh. it up, make it seven in a row. Eight and one start for Mini Cal. Bray Wyatt look posed to force the game number five. And let's see if they can hold control of hangar operation coming up next. Johnny W clears the back, picked up one, mini count, eyes on inside of the hill. The team shots coming all the way through. Jambo tried to sneak behind enemy lines, wasn't able to do a thing. And the interesting thing is, is well, Minical is showing his versatility as a player. He's decided to put away the ERAD and decided to stop playing incredibly aggressive and gone for kind of a more formal role. Pulls out the MV4 and is just playing for picks to assist his teammates. He's on a nine streak. And I oh, said, Minical, this is your stage. You have to take it with both hands, and he is doing exactly. On solution is waiting inside. Here comes the engagement all the way around. Try to move in for the knife. Shut down. Be sweaty and company. Have control and look at the map. It is wide open, but it's wide open for one reason. There was a counter pull. Both flags out. The other one in possession of Thompa. Yes, and he Thompa has been able to really advance and himself all the way back alley, but unfortunately now has to play his life. And this is a stalemate that could go down the remaining few seconds if these players with the flags are able to stay alive. Sweaty in a good position, in a better position even, than Thompa is. Thompa is just flirting with disaster, does get taken down there. Will the return come through, but two kills go through. The flag is still revived on the other side. On both sides it's revived. Now it's all about that last second return. And right now, the flags are back at base. And the cool score will go through. It's a three. To last second score and that will be the victory right there coming through sdlk show up right at the end once again oh my god both flags out comes right down to a last second engagement they come out on top inside of the back alley just like that standoff always a treat to come players on wheel of jetpack game backed up 
Cryptic knows there's one back bus. He's stuck in a corner though. He's gonna get peppered by shots from everywhere. Lone Wolf finds the kill somehow. Cryptic's still alive. He goes up. He takes down one. He pops the caro. He's gonna surely find this kill as well. He goes up in the air. The player slides away. And he finds the kill. Fortunately for Wheel of Jetpack, they're gonna find that kill. It's five to four.